to thank you all for coming uh, to testify today. Representative Cardell, it's good to see you again. Uh, I guess, the, I just want to talk a little bit about what Representative uh, Harper had touched on. And I want you to be aware that the situation with people who were alleged to have been in Philadelphia and gotten tickets goes far beyond the suburbs of Philadelphia. I, uh, for many years, worked in a district office about 100 miles away from Philadelphia. And I can tell you that there were a good number of times where constituents would come into the office very upset very upset with a rather, I don't want to say nasty, but certainly threatening kind of thing that you better pay this or else. And I can tell you that having worked with people uh, in terms of trying to resolve the situation, it wasn't easy. When I would call down to your offices, you guys didn't make it real easy. And uh, I, I think it really amounted to a notarized statement that they had not been in Philadelphia. And my point is twofold. Number one, a lot of people maybe didn't come to the office and quite frankly said, you know what, it's easier to just pay this thing and get it over with. So, you know, number one, it's not fair that they should have to pay the fine and the cost if they weren't in Philadelphia. And number two, it leaves a very bitter taste in their mouth for the city of Philadelphia. Now, I think Philadelphia's come a long way. I think you guys have a lot to be proud of down there. But what I would ask you to do is to take a look at your policy and how to deal with those people so that, you know, we all want people who genuinely got tickets. You know, we don't want people, uh, you know, we don't want people stealing on the system and taking away revenues that you're entitled to. But on the other hand, we don't want some, uh, some, some person from Schuylkill County who's never been in the Philadelphia in their life, but they figure it's just easier to mail it in and get them out of my hair. So I'll, uh, again, I want to thank you, and I certainly welcome any of you to comment on that. So. Thank you, Representative. Um, that's a very, a very valid point, and if I could explain just a little bit of, of the history. Um, we have the, the parking authority, we, we issue the tickets. Um, once you get a ticket and you're dealing with whether you're liable for it or you're responsible for that ticket, that falls into the hands of the Bureau of Administrative Adjudication, which is a separate agency from us. And when Vince was saying, you know, we, there have been mistakes um, that have been made by the parking authority and we will readily admit to them, I think this is actually one of those cases where a lot of people who were writing in to say, I was never here, this isn't my ticket, they fell into this horrible loop of writing back and forth with the Parking Violations Branch or the Bureau of Administrative Adju Adjudication, and there was nobody from the Parking Authority that was overseeing this process. Unle unless the complaint came directly to the Parking Authority. Right, so we actually, um, I'm trying to think about a year ago. Last September. Yeah, it, it came to our attention where there were a lot of these um, tickets that were, what would happen is they'd be placed on a temporary suspend. And um, depending on what the situation was, it'd be for 30 days, 15 days. Well, that's supposed to give somebody who wasn't minding the, um, the store at that point, it's supposed to give somebody time to look into it and then make a decision and get back to the person. Well, that wasn't happening, so th the ticket would get then reactivated into the system. Then the citizen would get a notice saying, you haven't done anything, now you have a fine. And there's people going, but I have, I've been writing letters. It, it was really, it was a mess. And we found, I'm trying to think, when, when we finally became aware of- 8,000. It was about 8,000 tickets that had been Suspended, reactivated, suspended, reactivated. Some of them five, six times have gone through the cycle, which definitely led to very, very frustrated citizens. Um, I am happy to say that we, we are, are caught no. up on that. We spent a lot of time um, going through each one of those citations and getting them all caught up to date. Um, and I think the process, well, I know the process is better now, and that definitely shouldn't happen. Um, we're, we're doing everything, I know my department is doing everything we can to 
try to let citizens know how they can contest a ticket if, if it's one of those situations where they're from your area, they've never been in Philadelphia in their whole lives, you know, people will write in. Um, we want to make that as easy as process, you know, as possible for them to handle it. And, and I think we've, we've made great strides in that department. Um, but we still have some work to do. We, so, so those tickets aren't even. We, we discovered that there was a, a problem in mailings that went to the parking violations branch or went to BAA. They all were queued in, <coughs> like su su accepted in, suspended. No one was working it at BAA. BAA had a large backlog. Two of our departments had a large backlog. When I discovered the, the one of the departments had a backlog, which we asked the manager to clean it up, and we started cleaning some of the others up. She didn't work on it for four weeks, and we discharged her. That's how serious we, we took the customer service in. It took us about five months to clean it up and get it to zero. Every Tuesday, there's a computer-aided generator report where every complaint is in the system that used to get lost. And Representative, you're absolutely right. We found cases where people had written in five times. Five times it was suspended. Five times there was no action taken. That doesn't happen now. We spent from September to February cleaning it up on Saturdays and Sundays to make sure it went down to zero. We check it every Tuesday. There's a generator report that comes out. And if there's one or two or three that went over the 30-day or the 60-day limit, we write, go, Sue goes right to that manager and gets them resolved. Uh, the technology is now good enough and has been good enough for us to track everything that comes in. And, and you know, we do believe the parking authority is doing a better job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator.